Greetings, Chief here for Bespoke Post. This is my September box. Yes, this is the 1st of October. I, like I said before, it seems like the longer I've been with Bespoke Post, the longer it takes the packages to arrive. This did arrive like five days ago, I do believe it is. Uh, my kit for this month was supposed to have been another drinking kit, but I opted to get the, uh, opted out to get something else, which is uh, the split kit which is just one item and one item only, which is a hand axe cut from Bare Bones. So, let's split kit. It's got Survival 101 to give you a, a few hints. Leaves the three, let them be. You haven't learned that one in the Scouts. Uh, splitting wood safely. Uh, it says place your hatchet's blade across one end of the piece of wood and hold it in place with your non-dominant hand with your dominant hand hammer your hatchet into the log with a mallet or another piece of wood and watch it split okay that's the only one we're going to read we got one about a snake bite so let's get this off of the cardboard and once again me in plastic there we go only one. Safety first. Okay, this is, it says remove, let's see. Be sure you set your axe head. One, remove from packaging. Uh, turn hatchet on its head while holding wood handle. Drop from about 10 inches onto a solid surface five to six times. It's got a nice as you can see, it's got a nice uh, blade blade guard. Mm. And we've got this, which is a tie, bare bones field hatchet. Elevate life outdoors. Uh, utility inspired design, a four inch blade with rear hammer. Uh, cast 1055 high carbon steel breech wood handle. Rugged and mold resistant 900D polyester sheath and a one year limited warranty. So basically what they're trying to tell you is you need to tap this down five or six times to make this a nice solid catch because there is no, because a lot of your hand axes generally in here there's a little groove and they put a, a splint in there so you can, or a wedge, or a metal wedge so you can put a metal wedge in there it'll split the wood and put it in there easier. It's got a good heft to it. I mean, I do have a better chopping axe. I mean, because we all know if you've been in the scouts, or at least like me, that you generally hold it out at arm's length and then you turn around in a complete circle and then you make sure that there are no obstacles above your head either. And I almost hit my ceiling fan just now. Came close. So that way when you're chopping overhead, you're not catching on a tree branch or anything like that. Uh, like I said, good polyester sheath. That I do like. I mean, a lot of axes you generally get at the hardware store, places like that. They don't come with the sheath. You just get the bare axe, and then you're always dropping it and and busting on the blade. Uh, Update, I did not blow up the cushion from climate uh, on my trip. It seemed like every plane I actually flew on my recent trip, uh, all the planes seemed to be almost new and the seats were not that bad. I did take one of the uh, zip ties and I used it basically to put, uh, I had to park my car at the uh, airport. So I took both my car keys and I zip tied them inside my backpack, which I put inside my carry-on. So. You had to be a real good thief to get either one of my keys and plus when I got to my hotel they have a safe so they went together in the safe and then when I came home I thought I almost lost them <laughs> even after zip tying them because like a dummy for some reason I unzipped every pocket of my backpack inside my carry-on and then when I went to grab my backpack out of my carry-on when I got to my final destination to get back to my car I panicked because the pocket I thought I put the keys in was wide open and I'm like oh god they just well I would have heard them fall out and landed on the cement but they were in another pocket so 
that's it on updates on the recent items that I did use. Uh, this I will use. I do have a fireplace. I don't have a good source of wood. I do have a tree that I need to trim and I trim it every six months so therefore I do get a little bit of firewood. So this will help me at least do some minor splits of some of the smaller logs. I need a good tree trunk. So I've been looking for a tree trunk to get so I actually have a tree trunk so I can do normal wood chopping because you need a good nice tree trunk surface because you want wood in case your axe goes all the way through the wood and you're pounding into the wood not into a sidewalk or anything else and you do all your wood chopping outside I think they did mention this is for indoor use too but nobody uses an axe indoor because all it does take is one split wood go through your television set through a window through something else because we know Murphy's Law says that's what it happens because God has a sense of humor and he wants everything to have everything be misfortune it seems like uh, so this is chief rambling on another good product I don't know what I haven't looked on today's email so I don't know what October's box offered box is yet for me I know some of you people started earlier so you got some of these items beforehand but they keep coming up with something new as long as we get little tools like this I'll be happy drinking kits I can live without because once you use the drinking kits with the ingredients to them are you really going to order any more because probably they're too expensive or too expensive for your taste and you're more or less worried about just drinking normally <clears throat> so this is chief signing off and remember thank a bet freedom's not free so this is Chief signing out. We'll see what October brings us. Bye-bye.